Hello everyone. Today we will delve into the fundamental concepts, advanced techniques and practical applications of Python, a versatile and powerful programming language that has captured the hearts of developers worldwide. As we begin our exploration, we will unravel the essence of Python, understand why it has become a favorite among programmers of all levels and learn how to set up our development environment by installing Python. From there, we will dive into the basics, covering essential topics such as variables, data types, operators, control flow structures, functions, and vari various data structures like lists, tuples, and dictionaries. But our journey doesn't stop there. We will venture into the realm of advanced concepts where we will discover the principles of object-oriented programming, explore the magic of modules and packages, master the art of exception handling and file manipulation, and uncover the power of comprehensions, decorators, and generators in Python. Moreover, we will touch upon additional topics that will enhance our Python prowess, including the importance of virtual environments, the significance of testing in Python, the adherence to best practices and PEP8 guidelines. We will also explore the useful libraries such as NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib that can supercharge our projects. To solidify our understanding and put our knowledge into practice, we will engage in hands-on projects and exercises designed to reinforce key concepts and provide us with valuable coding experience. Through these many projects and exercises, we will sharpen our skills and unleash our creativity in the world of Python programming. Finally, as we conclude our journey through the Python crash course, we will equip ourselves with valuable resources and guidance for further learning. We will explore online platforms, reference books, tutorials, and tap into the vibrant Python community that thrives on collaboration, knowledge sharing, and innovation. Dear friends, as we embark on this accelerating Python adventure together, let's embrace the beauty and power of Python programming and unleash our potential to create, innovate, and transform the world through code. Thank you, and let's dive into Python Crash Course. Let's start with variables and data types. In Python, variables serve as containers for storing data values. You can assign values to variables using the assignment operator equal to, whether it's an integer, float, string, boolean, list, tuple, or dictionary, Python supports a wide range of data types to accommodate different kinds of information. Consider x equals to 5 as an instantiation of an integer variable x with the value 5. Similarly, name equals to alice denotes a string variable name holding the value alice. Python encompasses a range of data types crucial for programming tasks. For instance, num equals to 10 signifies an integer data type num with the value 10, whereas pi equals to 3.14 denotes a floating point number pi with the value 3.14. Furthermore, name equals to bob assigns a string data type name with the value bob and is true equals to true sets a boolean data type is true to the logical value true. The data structures like lists, tuples, and dictionaries provide organized mechanisms for storing collections of data elements. For example, my list equals to 1, 2, 3 represents a list containing integers. My tuple equals to 4, 5, 6 signifies a tuple with ordered elements. And my dict equals to name, allies, age, 30 creates a dictionary mapping keys to corresponding values. Lists are ordered collections of items that can contain elements of different data types. They are mutable, meaning the elements can be changed after the list is created. Elements in a list can be accessed by their index. In Python, indexing starts from zero. We can add elements to the end of a list using the append method. The pop method removes the last element from the list by default, but you can specify the index of the element to remove that. Tuples are ordered collections of items like lists, but they are immutable, meaning that once a tuple is created, 
its elements cannot be changed. Similar to lists, tuple elements can be accessed by their index. Dictionaries are unordered collections of key value pairs. They are mutable and are often used to store data in the form of key value associations. Values in a dictionary can be accessed using their corresponding keys. To add a new key value pair to a dictionary, you can simply assign a value to a new key. For example, you can look at the dictionary where uh, in my underscore dict city equals New York, how it is simply assigning a value to the new key, which is city. So uh, summarizing list tuples and dictionaries, lists which are accessed by index allow allows for dynamic changes. Tuples are immutable ordered collections accessed by index ensuring data integrity. Dictionaries are mutable, unordered collections accessed by keys, facilitating efficient data organization and retrieval. As we progress further, we encounter a crucial aspect of programming that is operators. From arithmetic operators for mathematical computations to comparison operators for value comparisons and logical operators for combining conditional statements, operators empower us to perform diverse operations and make decisions within our programs. As you can see in this example here, we perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus for calculating the remainder and exponentiation operations using the variables a and b. That's why arithmetic operators are used for mathematical operations in Python. Comparison operators are used to compare values in Python. These operators help us compare the values of X and Y and determine their relationships, as you can see in this example here. These examples showcase how Python leverages data types and operators to handle various types of data and perform operations on them effectively. Understanding and mastering these concepts will be instrumental in your journey as a Python programmer. Looking at control flow functions and data structures next, let me tell you these concepts are the heart and soul of programming, enabling us to write elegant, efficient code that can tackle a wide array of problems. If statements allow us to execute code based on specific conditions, Let's explore this example here. Uh, in this snippet, the program evaluate the value of x and prints a message based on the on whether x is greater than 5, equal to 5 or less than 5. Looking at loops, loops are essential for repeating code execution efficiently. Let's delve into the two common types of loops in Python. The for loop iterates over a range of values printing each value while the while loop de decrements the value of n and prints it until it reaches zero. Mastering these foundational concepts will empower you to craft elegant efficient Python programs that tackle a myriad of real world challenges. So embrace the knowledge you have gained today, practice diligently and let your programming journey flourish. Remember, the world of Python programming is vast and full of possibilities. Stay curious, keep learning and unlock the boundless potential that programming offers. Thank you for your attention and may your Python adventures be filled with creativity and success. I'll catch you guys in the next video where we'll discuss the advanced topics. Thank you.